Hey Libra, it's Goddess Puff and this is the harsh truth, so don't watch if you can't handle it. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Libra. What is the harsh truth for my Libra? What does Libra need to know at the very at this very moment in time for Libra? Again, don't watch if you can't handle it. All right, we have Graveyard, 18. Feel free to break down these numbers as we go along. We have Elements, 16. Frog, 17. All right, wow, we have 16, 17, 18. Overall energy is Witch, 43. So definitely spell work at play. Someone's using a Ouija board or something to speak to the dead or to bring back situations that have ended, people that like have gone out of your life in some way. Yeah, with elements, we have harmony. Yeah, someone's trying to... Okay, so I'm getting two things. You could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. But I'm getting that someone here is trying to communicate with relatives who've passed away through witchcraft and spell work and Ouija boards. But for others of you, someone's trying to bring back um, a relationship or someone who left their life, a relationship that has ended, trying to bring harmony within a family situation for some of you. If it's not you doing that, oh my gosh, I can't stand these damn flies. But go away. But if it's not you doing this, it's someone else. Yeah, with frog, someone's being creative about how they do this, a creative approach. With which, I mean, it's clear. Someone is using spell work to bring someone back into their life. Let's get into the tarot and get more on this for Libra. The harsh truth for Libra. What does Libra need to know? My last shuffle for Libra. I also feel like someone's trying to revive a sexual tension or sexual energy within themselves or between them and someone else. We have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, Graveyard, Feeling Guarded, trying to um, persevere, move on, move forward. Five of Cups, past its appointments. So someone's guarded against this or trying to fight or overcome it. Queen of Wands. I'm seeing this is you, but you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Page of Cups, a pleasant surprise. Over on to the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Karma, the Karmic Wheel. Okay, so someone from your past is trying to bring you back into their life. They want to hear from you again. I feel like... They're going to manifest to the point where they can actually, they actually run into you in public. So if you've recently run into someone or if you do in the next few couple days, it's because this person has been manifesting you back into their life. Now, if you've been doing this, trying to do this, it's going to work. Someone here, whether it's you or someone else is manifesting you or whatever, manifesting someone back into their life and it's going to work. Y'all are going to pass each other, see each other in passing on the street. Or come across each other's profiles on social media because someone has been doing this every day, talking about you. I feel like someone's writing someone's name over and over and over and over again or saying it every day to manifest that person back into your life. Because you know when, um, when you're talking about someone and then they call you or text you, that's the energy I'm getting. Someone's using that logic, that method to bring you back. And if someone you had a falling out with, past disappointments with, someone you've been fighting, um, talking to or they've been fighting talking to you this is currently meant to occur with the wheel of fortune or someone's literally forcing you guys back together undoing the karma or forcing this wheel someone is forcing this but someone's happy about it clarify this for libra clarify this message for libra literally forcing a relationship back together to make to create harmony between you and that person that someone just wants to fix the past here clarifying the nine of wands is the six of pentacles equal give and take so something was not fair here nine of pentacles so there was a breakup a separation now this could have been a job family friend love it put it where it goes for you 
but I feel as though someone either left a job, person, relationship, family, because things were not being shared equally. I feel like it's bills or responsibilities or finances were not being shared equally. I feel like you came to the table with the nine of pentacles, you know, single, solid, stable and abundant, financially stable and well off. And someone was feeding off of that and using you and you felt taken advantage of. So you left clarifying the five of cups is the chariot. Yep. And you were much better off when after you left, your life took off a sword. You know, with the chariot cancer, I feel like someone regrets leaving or going on vacation. Cause I feel like this person may have left you. They may have moved out or gone on vacation or something. They regret it. They're disappointed about how they left. Again, it could be a cancer, but the chariot is fast paced movement forward to victory, success, praise, public acknowledgement. You could have moved out. Someone moved out of someone's house or left or something like that. Yeah. Seven of pentacles, a long-term investment. Again, this could go for family, friend, work, love, put it where it goes for you, but someone invested many, many years into something. And they're disappointed because they never really got their fair share back. So they left. And once you left and signed a new contract elsewhere, things went great for you. You got the nine of pentacles, the chariot. Things are fair for you. Things are just for you here. Your new job, new relationship, new career, whatever this is, is going well. And now someone sees this and they're disappointed because they wanted to have this with you. I feel like someone's intentions in the beginning of the relationship was to match you or get equal with you or something like that. But instead they became lazy and complacent and allowed you to take care of them. Clarifying the queen of wands is the strength card. Leo, yeah, you left. The devil, Capricorn. But this person became obsessed with your strength, your power, the way you work, how you endure. Because I'm getting, you didn't let this situation break you. You don't let anything break you. You don't let anything stop you. You're the nine of pentacles. You overcome every obstacle, every challenge with the nine of wands, the strength card, the devil. I feel like this person sees you as someone who has no fear. They see you as someone who can overcome everything, anything, any obstacle. And that made this person obsessed with you. So the amount of strength and endurance you have of overcoming your fears, addictions, or enslavements, and that's the same amount of energy this person has towards obsessing over you. Someone is obsessed with you. It could be a Leo, a Capricorn, a Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Put it where it goes. Clarifying the page of uh, cups is the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So this is a manipulative player from your past. Overall energy is the nine of swords, anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights. So yeah, this person wants to start up that karmic cycle. They want to make you weak. They want to break you. They see you as someone extremely talented. They see you as someone um, very independent, financially stable. Um, you work out, you eat right, you look great. It could be one of those things or all of those things. You put a lot of dedication, time, energy, and effort into something, um, especially your finances. And this person can see that no matter what they do to you or no matter what you go through, you're still the nine of pentacles. And that just, I feel like this person saw that in you, got with you, tried to break you or tame you or control you. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too with you. And when that didn't work and you left and you still progressed, you still did better without them or you still stayed the nine of pentacles. Now they want you even more. So their attraction and obsession with you went up 10 times more when you left or when they left. So now they want to come back and break you or win you over or something. It's like they see you as an unbeatable force and that makes them want you even more. Because I feel like this person kind of gets off on destroying people mentally, emotionally, or financially. It's like you didn't slow down when they left. Yeah, with the nine of swords, they want that. They're filled with anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights. And they want to put that on you with the Wheel of Fortune karma. They want to put that on you, but it, it didn't work. Even if it did, it didn't stay. Like this person thought if they did this to you, if you felt like the nine of swords, it would stop you, but it didn't. Yeah, you took on this fiery, everything's working in tandem for you with elements. Everything's working harmoniously. Your fiery energy is like a thousand. You've left everything in the past. You're doing well. 
Yeah, with graveyard, elements, frog, with with witch, you've alchemized all that negative energy this person put on you. You alchemized all of it and you turned it all into a positive. Again, nine of pentacles, the chariot, you're you're excelling rapidly without them. So any time you lost with them, you're getting it all back within a very short time frame. So if you lost any opportunities while working for this person, living with this person, or dating this person, you're getting all that back within like a sh very short time frame. Stuff that would have taken you six years, you're getting it back in like six weeks or six months. Getting it all back in a very very short time frame. And this person can see that and they're scared. Yeah, but you're happy to get this creative energy back. I want to say dynamic energy. Yeah, with the Seven of Cups, you opened all these doors. But I feel like this person, again, they're trying to manipulate you back and make everything seem all good with them. Make it seem like your choices will be, you, it's your best choice. That's what they're trying to make it seem like. But of course, um... It goes without saying that you're not going to fall for it, or at least I hope you won't. It's just not in the cards for you to fail. With which, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords, anything that this person tries to put on you, it's only going to stay momentary, momentarily, and then it's going to go right back to them. So it's like someone throwing something at like a, I don't know, a, a bouncy wall. It's going to hit it for a second and then be thrown right back. It's like, yeah, throwing a basketball at a brick wall. That's, they just can't penetrate your energy. Everything they throw at you just bounces right off you. And it's like, when you were with them, you were still progressing, but it was slow. Once they left, you just took off. Like, it was like you had a boulder, like a huge boulder on your shoulder. You were still progressing. It was just taking you longer. Once it left, you just like, you're gone. And they want to stop that, slow that down, tame you. Yeah. All right. Let me get you your final message because I could go on and on and on about this. Final message for Libra. Yeah, this person just wanted to tame, conquer, win, control. Now they're fascinated by you. Because you, you're like unbreakable. All right, we have hedgehog, vulnerability, hiding the heart, tenderness. Doll, illusion, old wounds, childhood. And bees, togetherness, work, treasures. Yeah, so this person with the five of cups. Now, this could be connected to your childhood. One parent leaving or moving. You, you take up with one parent, they move you away from the other, something like that. But I feel like the reason you fell for this person, this person like hit at your childhood wounds and it made you vulnerable because maybe they reminded you of someone, but you're realizing the truth about the situation from the past and this person now. Because I feel like you had a similar family member or lover or relative growing up who was like as manipulative as this person. Very charismatic, very attractive when they speak to you. And when they're around you, but they have ulterior motives. Overall energy is book, hope, <clears throat> excuse me, hope, ignorance, revelation. Yeah, you're realizing like, oh, in the past, this person was actually trash. Like when I was a kid, this person was just manipulative and charismatic and asshole. But you held out hope for them because you were young and naive. And now you're realizing that this person is mirroring that energy for some of you. All right, and it's, uh, I'm gonna leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking your personal reading with me or checking out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. I'm sending you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.